Hi Robert, I'm Lester from Shaw Speed and Custom, uh, doing this video to give you a brief uh, demonstration on how to switch the ignition on and off and how the hand controls work on your new bike. Uh, if you'd like to come around this way, I'll show you. Uh, this is the key here, and this is the alarm key fob, operates the alarm and immobiliser. Uh, there's nothing to do on it, there's nothing to press, you just have to make sure you have it with you when you want to start the bike. Uh, if you come down here, you see we have the ignition switch. At the moment it's locked, to unlock it, you hinge the switch up, put the key in, and turn it a quarter turn like that, and take it back out. Then you close the lid. To switch the bike on, one click clockwise to switch the ignition on, and now the bike is ready to start. To switch the bike off, you switch it one click back to the middle position there. So, if you'd like to come around the other side, this red button here, up on the headstock, is the start button. Providing the bike is in neutral, you can see the neutral light there, just press the button and hold it until it turns over and starts, and that's it. With the indicator light, on the far right hand side here, you have the right hand indicator. Press it once, the indicator flashes, and you have the repeater there. Press it again, and it switches off. On the other side, on the left, exactly the same again, and then press again to stop. The next button in on the left hand side is your horn. And the next button in on the right hand side changes what's on the display here. So as you press the button, it cycles through different options. Hand controls, as per normal on a normal bike, throttle, front brake, rear brake, and then on the left hand side, clutch and gear change. To operate the main beam, there's this little blue switch here. One click down for on and you can see it illuminates and the light here illuminates when the light's on. One click back up to switch it off. To open the fuel cap, press it in the end, you see it pops up. When you finish fueling the bike, push back down, press until it clicks. And I think that's everything you need to know on the bike to get you started. If you've got any questions or anything at all, just send us an email or talk to Steve and we can sort you out. Thanks very much.